Hey everyone, this is Matt Bohannon with House Match, and today we're going to cover the top five questions we've been getting asked lately. So question number one, do I need a plan before I buy or sell a home? I would say absolutely. Um, and this is the power of a great consultation. So sitting down with one of our buyer's agents, they're going to ask you the right questions to really identify, hey, what, why am I thinking about buying? Um, what's most important to me in my house? Identify, hey, how long am I gonna keep this house? You know, if you're only gonna keep it a year or two, you wanna make sure you identify neighborhoods where you're not going to be underwater a year or two from now. You're in a neighborhood that is appreciating. Maybe they're still building and the prices are increasing. So your buyer's agent is gonna help you identify all those things during your consult. And if you're selling, same, same goes. You know, where are you gonna go? That's, that's usually the number one concern we have um, when somebody's selling is, hey, I, I don't know where I'm gonna go from here. So identifying those things, identifying how to uh, to maximize the value for your home. So you put it on the market once, and that, that one time goes out to everybody, get the most impressions and most people through, um, and really maximize the value you're gonna get for your home. So question number two, does the condition of my house matter? So we've been getting this one a ton from sellers lately because you know if you read the news, homes are selling, and yes, it, it has been a seller's market for the past year, um, but what we're seeing is condition is starting to matter more and more. You know, you don't have the 30-person uh, line or the fist fight for the houses anymore. You do see some multiple offers, um, but those are coming on the houses that are really in the top shape. You know, the ones that have been painted, new appliances. They're not, you know, they're not fixer uppers. They don't need a new roof, a new AC. Um, those are the ones that are really commanding top dollar. So absolutely condition matters. People are buying homes really online before they come see them. So does it show well in the pictures? Does it look like it's gonna be a project or does it look moving ready, it's inviting? So absolutely condition is one of the top factors when you're selling your home. So number three, can you price it above market value right now? Um, you know, six months ago, you could test the market, you know, because prices were really taking jumps dramatically in certain neighborhoods. Um, right now, I would say not really unless you have something super unique. You know, if you have a home that is, is really, really upgraded, larger than the other homes in the neighborhood, maybe you can, you know, you can price it a little bit above the market. Um, but shooting the, the moonshot price out there, hoping somebody comes in, um, buyers are, you know, buyers are smart now. They have, they have data at their fingertips. Um, every, every website's giving them an estimate of the home's value. And if those things are way off, um, they're less likely to want to go see it. You know, they're still looking to, to match value up with condition. So I think the time to test the market um, has passed. You know, now you can still maximize your price, um, but really you're going to do that by pricing it competitively um, and making it seem like, hey, this is a great deal. You have to have this. So question number four, do I need a realtor? Obviously I'm biased uh, when it comes to this question, but I think when you're buying or selling a home, you absolutely need representation, but you need the right representation. Um, the bar has been set low for realtors, uh, the, you know, just to get into the industry, the continued education and things like that. So there's a lot of, uh, I say a stigma out there when it comes to good agents, bad agents, you know, but when you're dealing with a, you know, a real professional team, look at the transactions per agent you see a team that's selling uh, 40, 50 homes per agent, you know, you're getting a pro. So, and that comes with benefits, you know, we're experts with pricing. So we're going to be able to get you top dollar. We have access to huge databases of people. We'll get, you know, we'll get your home sold faster for more money. And then on the buy side, we're going to negotiate harder. We're going to be able to find your properties that you know, no one else would. You know, we have access to, to more people to show you the homes like, hey, you might need to get into the home in 10 minutes because it's going to be off the market. We can do that. You know, so knowing what you're doing, when you're, you know, who you're paying, it really matters. So I would say, yes, representation is, is a huge piece of this industry. And should I wait for prices to settle down? That's question number five. Um, and really, that depends on your goals. 
So if you're selling, um, I mean, I don't think you want to wait for prices to settle down. You want to maximize the value that you get. And if you price it competitively right now, you're going to see higher than list price. You're going to see multiple offers. And anytime you get into that type of scenario, the, the seller's going to win. So, and if you're on the buy side, it really depends once again, what your goals are, you know, how long you're going to keep the home. If you've been paying rent for five years, um, what's that look like another five years? You know, are you going to throw away another hundred thousand dollars waiting for the price to drop of 40 or 50,000? And also you have to understand and, and weigh the pros and cons of trying to time the market. You know, had you bought last year, you would have seen a 20% increase um, in your equity. So trying to time the market has already cost you. So if you look at interest rates, if the payment makes sense, then it's the, it's the right time. That's usually our best advice is if it makes sense for you, it is the right time. If you wait, it's always going to cost you something. So if you have any more questions on any of these, want to go into more detail, feel free to reach out. Give me uh, or your agent a call. Uh, this is Matt from House Match. Thanks for listening.